All praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, Baha Raka Kodash. The honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Akim out there, pushing the word to sincerity. Alright, so I want to name this video The Earth Shall uh, Reel To and Fro. You know? Alright, because uh, when these nuclear missiles are shot off from Russia, from Iran, from North Korea, from uh, all the allies over there in Europe, the allies of America, all right, the nuclear, uh, the nuclear uh, reactions are is going to cause the Earth to go um, under great distress, which is going to move the tectonic plates, and a great earthquake will follow. All right, there's going to be tsunamis, there's going to be thunder and lightning, there's going to be rain. All right, there's going to be hell from Earth. All right, fire. All right, there's going to be laser beams. All right, and the, the earth is going to it's going to reel to and fro. Like you know, there's an earthquake. You know, we had an earthquake out here in Berkeley area, the East Bay of the uh, of uh, the Bay Area. All right, and uh, you can actually feel the Lord move the earth, man. All right, it was around two, three o'clock in the morning. All right, and, and, and the Lord He moved the earth. So there's going to be another. There's going to be another great earthquake. It's going to be the last earthquake, the last great earthquake that this world shall ever uh, experience. All right, so this is uh, Isaiah 24 and 18, and this is all according to biblical prophecy. So if you don't, if you don't die by the nuclear missiles, you're gonna, you're gonna die. You, you can possibly die by that great earthquake, and that earthquake starting with uh. On the, in these up, because you you're on the shores of America, you're gonna get burnt up. But these other places, these different islands, different places of the world that might not get hit with a nuclear missile, all right, the Lord's gonna have to be with you to be able to survive through that great earthquake that's gonna um, follow. This is Isaiah 24 and 18, and it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare for the windows from on high are open and the foundation of the earth do shake it's talking about the destruction that should come all right when the lord he's going to open up he's going to open up on the world he's going to open up on you sinners okay this is uh verse 19 the earth is utterly broken down the earth is clean dissolved the earth is moved exceedingly, all right? Now, they even show you that, uh, well, if you know anything about nuclear uh, testing, when they test these nuclear missiles, all right, uh, the earthquake, a lot of earthquakes follow. And that's why I believe there's a lot of earthquakes going on in uh, Iran, because they're they're testing out nuclear um, missiles, all right? And when they test them nuclear missiles now, they sh they do the test underground to, me to measure the amount of explosion explosiveness. All right, and then they're able to put that onto a, a, a ICBM, a, 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 a rocket-propelled uh, device. All right, they, they're able to put that warhead on. Now they test underground now. All right, the and then that and what that do that move the tectonic plates, and then uh, tremors, earthquakes follow. So it's going to be the same thing when these when these uh, nuclear missiles hit this last this last great war. All right, the last great war that's going to that's going to um, come very soon upon the earth. The earth is going to move exceedingly because the tectonic plates are going to be broken, are going to be taken out of out of place. It says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. All right, and I don't have to tell you what that means. And shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall. And now rise again. You see that? So the Lord, He's He's punishing, He's punishing the leaders of this of this of this place. Or right, He's punishing two thirds of our people, and He's and He's also showing an example how when you live ungodly, when you live uh, contrary to righteousness. All right, and then furthermore, when you take this Bible and then you, and that you say that you're a follower of the Bible. All right, you say you're a follower of the Bible. And you do everything um, against the Bible. I'm talking about your so-called, you so-called, you so-called uh, so white people. All right, you say that you're Christians. You say that you're good people. You say that you're the Jews. All right. 
you say that you believe in God and you don't, all right, well, the Lord, he's going to, he's going to punish, punish you for your transgressions. All right, you take out things of the scriptures, you know, let me, let me get that scripture, actually. I believe it's in Revelation, the 22nd chapter, about adding to this book, you know. Yep. This is a. Uh, this is a uh, Revelation twenty two and eighteen. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, and this and this word has been uh, spoken, has been spoken and has been preached throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, due to the internet, all right, people are able to hear this word. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of this prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the of book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So yeah, so you so-called white people, you're, you can't be saved. All right, there's it's no possible way that you're going to be saved from this destruction. Our right, two thirds of you Israelites, there's no possible way that you're going to be saved through this, through this destruction. And when that earth uh, reels to and fro, you're going to know the power of the Lord. Our right, Lord, He's going to show His power in that day, and, you're, and it's going to be a no doubt about it that it, it came from Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right, because you're going to see the chariot. The chariots are going to be uh, causing this place to uh, reel to and fro. All right, the, the fire of the nuclear missiles, the Lord's going to actually be in that fire. He is fire. The Lord's actually pure energy, fire. That's what fire is. All right. He's going to be in the nuclear missiles. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to, and it's going to, it's going to please him for you people to be burned up for your transgressions. Uh, verse uh, 22, uh, verse 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth yeah so you other nations <clears throat> you high ones you you <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> you israelites that are uh, that are very haughty in spirit they're very proud the lord's going to burn you up all right and you're going to and you're going to um and it's the earth is going to quake all right it's going to quake to and fro it's going to feel like the earth is going to fall out of orbit all right all while while the, the men of the lord they're going to be saved in that day all right, they're going to be up above the firmament. All right, none of these plagues are going to touch them. All right, I'm talking to the, I'm talking about the elect of the elect of Yah Bashem Al Shai, which you Christian groups, you other Israelite groups, you do not preach. All right, and this and this scripture is only these scriptures are only in understanding. It's only for the elect because the elect are the ones that are going to be moved with fear. They're going to call upon that those names and reverences and reverence. All right, and they're going to do whatever the scriptures tell them to do. And part of that is is uh, going out on the highways and the, and the hedges in order, not being renegade, all right, not just doing your own thing because you don't want to fall into order. So follow in order, all right, through the procedures, all right, carrying your cross daily, all right, bearing those burdens, those tribulations, all right, and prophesying, man, prophesying. That's part of, that's part of the, that's part of uh, your salvation. All right, it's to warn others. All right, so this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 13. It says, Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place. The heavens and the earth is talking about the rulership of the planet Earth. The, the heavens, actually talking about Esau's kingdom, because that's where his heaven is at, right? When you're in heaven, that you're, you're in a place of... Uh, Rejoicement, you're in a place of comfortability, all right. And these so called white people, they're in that and they're in that place, all right. Really, the elites it's really going to be the, the elites that are comfortable. And the earth shall remove out of her place. But what is this talking about? It's talking about her orbit or her orbit or access. It's going to feel like the earth is moving out of her place, it's going to stagger like a drunken man, a man that can't hold his liquor, he's drunk out of his mind. He doesn't know. He doesn't know where he's at. He's blacking out. He has no clue. He has no discretion. No, no uh, uh, discernment. All right, he's throwing up all over the place. He can barely walk. That's how the earth is going to move. All right, you people, even with a tremor, 
you people get scared. You women wake up my neck, wake up next to your husband. You were just talking all type of BS last night. Say I'm a lead. I'm gonna do this. And then when the earthquake hit, you all grabbing onto him. You scared out of out of your mind. All of a sudden, you, you fell back in love with him. All right. So that so that so uh, a lot of people are gonna get gonna have that uh are gonna have that fear in their heart because those missiles when they hit the smoke from heaven, the actual the they're so powerful, these missiles are so powerful that they're gonna make the earth rock to and fro. That's how powerful, that's how many missiles are gonna be shot off. Okay, uh, Revelation the ninth the ninth chapter talks about that. Alright. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall be shall remove out of her place. In the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. All right, so this is all about the day of the Lord's fierce anger. Are right, you people try to portray God, who you who you perceive as God, who you believe as God, as this as this uh, white man in heaven that just loves everybody, that's accepting to to all to all to everything against the Bible. All right, it doesn't matter what you do, he accepts it. While 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 the earth is is, is in, in in total distress. All right, the air is getting blown up. You Negroes and Hispanics are getting shot in, shot in the back and deported to different to your your countries, Mexico and Haiti, El Salvador. All right, treachery is run rapid through our community. All right, lying, stealing, backbiting. All right, towel bearing, adultery, uh, worship of other idols. Okay, there's people dying of wildfires, mudslides. All right, people getting shot. All of a sudden, God, he's with all this. If God was if God was not with this, what would he not come down to save, save and put peace on the earth? So you people are, you people have no understanding of the Bible. You don't know who the Most High is. You don't know who God is. You call on God in vain. Are you calling God and you don't know who God is talking about? All right, you, your, your perception of God is, is, is taught to you by your oppressor, or the so-called white man. That's, that's uh, his... His, uh, I like to call Zeno, Zeno Christianity. Okay, the brother uh, y'all called, well, we did a lesson called Neo Christianity, which is New Christianity. All right. Now that Zeno Christianity, what's the word? Zeno, it means a strange or foreign. All right. Let me get the, the, the definition. All right. And, and it's, it's Greek. All right. The word Zeno goes back to the word Greek. Uh, give me one second. Because the word Zeno. Yeah, man. This is crazy. It's Satan. I'm going to get the definition of the word Zeno. Okay, you know what? That's what it was. I was spelling it on Slacky. It's with an X. All right, those spirits hit me. I'm right with you. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was I was wondering. Yeah, here we go. That's, I was just Satan trying to uh, distract me. Now we got it to the spirit. All right. So the word Zeno, X E Z N O. All right. It's a word for me element meaning strange, foreign, stranger, foreigner. Okay. Yeah. So this 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 new age Christianity, this neo Christianity, this Zeno Christianity is strange and foreign. That's not. That's not the so-called uh, 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 Christianity, which that's that's a religion, which really it just goes back into uh, the, the, the ones when the Lord came on the scene, who you people call Jesus Christ, his real name, Yahweh Shai. When he came on the scene as the Messiah, all right, you had men that followed. 
you have men that follow his 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 doctrine. All right, which is the doctrine that we follow now, and they were be they were um, they were uh, being called Christians. Okay, which was just a follower of the Lord. All right, which we follow the Lord, we follow these scriptures, uh, we prophesy out of the Bible. All right, so now this new age Christianity, which is just a pretty much a play on the former, or right, the followers of, of the anointed one, all right, is uh, they, they have no understanding of the Bible. They have no understanding of prophecy. They have no understanding of breaking down the scriptures, who, who Cornelius was, who are the Gentiles. All right, that's why they're going to get hit with a big-ass earthquake, man. All right, and, and before that, the signs of the times uh, point to uh, many more earthquakes in diverse places, meaning different places of the earth. All right, which people are going to get swallowed up, uh, 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 holes are going to be opened up, more mudslides are going to happen. All right, when when earthquakes ha uh, hit, tsunamis come. All right, so you people have no you people have no hope here in America. Your hope is just to be destroyed. Okay, the hope of the the, uh, the wicked is wrath, and you people are wicked. So okay, I'm, I'm done with that. So we're in Isaiah 24. This Isaiah, uh, yeah. So I, we hit Isaiah 13, and let's go to Re Revelation, the six, 16th chapter, and uh, maybe I'll finish it up on here. All right, because uh, the Earth is going to rock to and fro. Uh, it's going to be all due to the nuclear missiles that uh, the Lord, the Lord's going to uh, shoot, shoot, shoot here to America. And how is he going to shoot? He's going to shoot it by the by these different armies, by these different armies of the nations, because he, because he's the he's the Lord of hosts, which means the Lord of troops. All right, and all these other nations play a part in his in his hand. All right, his hand of the sword, his hand of destruction. Okay. All right, and then his right hand, which is Yahweh Shai, he's gonna come and uh and finish finish all. I, I, I like to say put the cherry on the top. You know, can you make a Sunday right? An old school Sunday. Banana split. It ain't a Sunday unless you put the cherry on top. It's done. It's finished. That's when the Lord, he gonna come back in the midst of all this. In the midst of the, the earth rock, rocking to and fro. In the midst of you people getting hit with tsunamis. You getting hit with the, the hell. The, the, uh, the, it says that um, the, nuclear, the nuclear brimstone falling down. Our laser beams. <laughs> Alright, all right, it's gonna be thunder and lightning. The Lord, he gonna be rumbling. Are right, you gonna hear the you gonna hear the sounds of the trumpet? Alright? And you and your loved ones are gonna um, perish right before your eyes. This is Revelation 16 and 17. And and, I, and, and, if, and you watch these videos, okay, because you know about Great Millstone. Maybe to say this is your first time listening to the video. Well, if you have any understanding, you should be moved with fear or try to at least inquire to what uh, the men the men on these videos be talking about. To see if it's true, but you people have no deductive reasoning, or you have no discernment, you have no prudence, no foresight, nothing. You're you're empty vessels that only want to hear what you want to hear and bring emotions into it. You can't bring your emotions into this thing, man. You have to go by what the scriptures say, man. And this is what the scripture is saying. All right, the Lord, he's gonna he he preparing the battle. He's preparing all these nations to turn and shoot their bows on America and destroy America. And if you get caught here in America, all right, you're going to be burnt up fully. All right, let the scripture say holy. All right, uh, and that's what a W, by the way. Uh, and then, uh, and then if you're in these other parts of the world, all right, you 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 you're gonna get hit with an earthquake, man. You're gonna hit with an earthquake. You're gonna hit with thunder and lightning. All right, so this is uh, Revelation 16, 17, and the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a voice out of the temple of, of heaven. And that, and that seven represents that completion. This is when it's complete, man. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. You see that? It's done. What's done? It's the nuclear missiles getting shot off and this place being totally destroyed. All right? You damn devils. You Edomites. All you so-called white people are going to be destroyed. All right, and then the ones in these different countries in Europe, all right, in Australia, that's that's in these different pro uh, 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 rocks and crevices throughout the world trying to hide. Right, we're going to round your ass up, man, and we're going to put you in concentration. 
we're gonna put you in not a, it's a it's a slavery camp all right it's gonna be you gonna be put on a slavery camp of hard labor all right, we're gonna breed you all right we're gonna beat you we're gonna beat you in the powder all right and we're, we're just gonna we're gonna exact the judgment we're gonna be reading out of scriptures while we're chopping your head off man all right that's that's the hope for you you damn devils over there in these different countries if you don't get destroyed all right by the great earthquake that's gonna befall the earth and there and there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake you see that great earthquake it was voices and thunders the lord's gonna be shouting out of the heavens man all right he gonna he gonna talk to him with his thunder all right with that horn the ram's horn all right and there was a great earthquake such as was not since men up, were upon the earth so mighty and so mighty an earthquake and so great you know and this great city was divided into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and great babylon came and remembered before the most high to give her the cup of the wine of her of of the fierceness of his wrath so this is all about babylon being destroyed and if you're if you're not privy to the fact of that babylon is the is the america the, the united states of america all right this hell hole this shit hole all right, because this is the real shithole of a country, man. You're better off in a third world country. You're better off anywhere around the world outside of Syria, maybe. <laughs> them damn Syrians, man. Them motherfuckers over Syria getting bombed to hell. But you're probably better off over there, man, than being here in, a, in America. America's going to be totally wiped out. Okay? So, yeah, this is all about, uh, this is all about the fierceness of the, the the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath the lord's wrath and it says up here in, in 18 that it was that this great earthquake such was not since men were upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great yeah because the earthquake is going to literally make the the whole earthquake it's not going to be isolated like all right it's, it's only in one state or it's only in a 10 mile radius no it's everything in the earth is connected all right, if you didn't know that, all right, you did. If you didn't know that, the whole Earth is connected somewhere, some some way. Okay, it's called ecosystem. Things that are things that are done on the on the, the, the western part of the hemisphere has a, a, a adverse effect to what's going on in the eastern part of the hemisphere. Okay, so how, how however many uh, days it takes or years it takes, okay, or hours it takes, or if something happens on the west, some. Is going to be affected on the east and, and vice versa all right north to south all right because it's an ecosystem every all all waters run into the into the ocean all right all waters are connected somehow underground all right and then all these different plates and these titanic plates because you got to understand the earth is just a, is, is one big lump a mat a lump of uh of of, of elements all right formed into certain things Okay, so yeah, so it's going to be a great earthquake. Our right. Xeno Christianity is going to be destroyed. Are right. you people, uh, you people, um, going to going to experience that earthquake? All right, and the Lord's going to destroy you. All right, and to the men that are, that are are allotted to be saved, all right, we're, we're going to praise the Lord. All right, we're going to praise the Lord for your destruction. All right, and we're going to have fear in our hearts, but we still we have fear in our hearts now because we don't want to take place. And it's upcoming destruction. All right, but you people, forget about it, all right? So the earth is going real to and fro like a drunkard, all right? And you people are going to be destroyed. All right, uh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory again to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Baha'u'llah Kakwadash, that means in, in the Holy Spirit. I want to give um, a double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught this truth, taught this men the truth, taught me the truth. All right, uh, peace and blessings. To you, I came out there. Honors to you, I came out there that are, are still pushing in this thing. All right, fight, fighting, fighting the good fight. All right, being a, a, a good sir, soldier of Yahweh Shai, being instant and east, in, in, being instant in season and out of season. All right, um, delivering the gospel to the saints. So you know what that one uh, say? Uh, Shalom, death to America, which is Babylon the Great. All right, death to two thirds, two thirds of you Israelites who don't want to come back to the Lord. Our death to uh, all you, you Edomites, you so-called white people, every last one of you. 
are deaf to all you nations, um, all you nations outside of the nation of Israel, all right, and they're deaf to you, and then, you're, and then we'll see your ass in slavery, are right, in deaf to the nigger woman, Shalom.